This week's assignments, instead of having Math Moves and DLR, we have no red ink and IXL. So just a reminder for how to get to those and how to use them. No red ink this week, your section's called Identifying Subjects, Verbs, and Pronouns. And IXL has three parts. And the first part, please remember that in 11, you need to get at least 90%. In 12 and in 13 are 80%, but in 11, 90%. So a reminder, no red ink when you go to your home, looks a bit like this. I'm gonna move it to one class. So I can just be looking at pudding. So we went through an example for dialogue. And what we're gonna do is look at how we go through dialogue so that you can look at how you would go through your no red ink assignment for this week. We click the play button, let it load, be patient with it. And we're gonna read through this topic. What is mastery? To master a topic, you must demonstrate full understanding of that topic. Mastery is not about answering a set of number of questions or spending a certain number of minutes on no red ink. Instead, it's based on practice, building a tailored set of questions to meet your needs. So we're gonna click begin. And we're actually gonna look at the lesson first. And we're gonna look through the table and they're showing us what a sentence is and what a fragment is. And again, fragment in this case means a sentence that is broken, not a real sentence. So we have our comma, we have our quotations, we have our period, that is a sentence. If it has a period on the inside, it's a fragment. If there's a period on the inside, it's still a fragment. And again, another example. So they're showing us the good on the right and the not so good on the left. We're gonna scroll down. And they're gonna go through again, what makes a sentence and a fragment and give us more examples. Okay, so we're gonna click off. Now we're gonna go to practice. When you go through practice, it's going to walk you through, again, the lesson, because it wants you to be successful. Mine has already skipped that part, but go through the lesson again slowly as it has you look at activities and try it out. So I'm asking two questions. Is it punctuated correctly, so it's a sentence, or is it a fragment? I see that there's a period here, it's a fragment. And it'll move me on to the next one. And it'll go through until I get all the way through and I need to get to this full bar. So again, I notice there's a period, it's a fragment, let it load, sometimes it might take longer than others, okay? And we've gotten to our level one and it gives us a nice little star. All right, read through it slowly or just double check your punctuation because it might start looking at capitals. So just be careful with that. I excel, we're looking at the ends in grade four. So units of measurement we're reviewing. We're starting with N11, and the reason we're trying to get to 90% on this one is because it's simply asking us which metric unit, so milliliters, liters, kilograms, grams, meters, centimeters, millimeters, which one's appropriate, which one's the one we should use. And so since we're not actually having to crunch numbers as much as we're having to go, okay, what's a meter again? What's a centimeter? What's, a what, you know, what's our volume going on here? Since we're just doing that, we should be getting a little bit of a higher score. Okay, when we go into N12, we're focusing on length. So that means we're gonna be looking at millimeters, centimeters, meters, kilometers, kilometers. So we're looking at all of those and how they compare to each other. So use your landmark numbers, okay? How many millimeters are in a centimeter? How many centimeters are in a meter? How many meters are in a kilometer, kilometer, okay? Next one for weight, we're looking at grams and kilograms, okay? They might even throw some milligrams in, so just be ready, but it is mostly focused on grams and kilograms. So you will have to do some math and converting, knowing those landmark numbers, and that's why you're getting to that 80% on both of these, okay? If you have any questions, if there's any of them that really stump you and you keep getting stuck on, send an email and let me know or screenshot it and show Miss Lily Beth or Miss Amy the next day. Good luck, have a fantastic day, and keep learning a lot.